Shut up and sit down. Hello, YouTube. Welcome to my channel. I am the Cyber Eve Guru. Um, it's shortly after Christmas, and uh, Santa was good to me. Brought me some interesting new toys. Uh, actually, quite a lot of filament. Uh, different varieties, uh, kind of a random smattering of things. Uh, so today I'm actually going to try and print with this uh, Pet G. It's a new filament type for me. I've never printed with it. Um, in this case, it is Esun Pet G. Uh, is ruby red-ish uh, color. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's apparently translucent uh, magenta, I guess in this case, so I'm going to unbox it here real quick, uh, and we're going to get to printing some things with it. I've got some uh, penned up projects in there, so All right, well, opening the box, interesting, there's a nice little uh, flyer in here, product manual, I've never seen this before with, uh, with uh, filament, so this is going to be interesting. Um, it does have the settings in here, so that's good. Um, I was kind of uh, scouring the web for some different things, so interesting. Uh, hmm. Lots of interesting information on this uh, this little product manual here, so I'll be uh, through that uh, stuff. Uh, taking this out of the uh, package, oh, it looks uh, it looks fantastic, actually. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I'll zoom in a little bit. Um, Translucent magenta. It looks more red than magenta, quite frankly. Well packaged. Um, no air in there, uh, which is good. So we will uh... wow. that was a heck of a, a rush of air. I don't know if y'all can see that on the uh, on the uh, camera. Hopefully, when I edit the video, I'll be able to see that standby one. So I've misplaced my exacto knife, so uh utility knife. So, uh, excellent desiccant package here. Alright, looks good. Um clear white filament. It's a little uh, crunchy when you squeeze it. Uh filament looks good though. Um it's on pretty well. Um little a little rough on the windings, you can kind of see that. Uh, get this thing to focus on that. Um, not too bad, though. Alright, well, so uh, we'll uh, probably uh, cut over a time lapse of what I'm going to print. I'm going to um, replace a, uh, the articulated octopus head that uh, I printed for the, uh, the ball and socket joint octopus. Um, the uh, piece parts were apparently tasty for the puppy, and uh, she decided to make a meal of a good portion of it. Um, let's see, got tape down here. Let's pull that out. Um, so, we're gonna replace that anyway. Uh, so, we'll give it a go. Um, it's interesting, uh, it's super smooth, see through. And, uh, see the, uh, element here. Let me, uh, this. Focusing on that. How's that? That looks pretty good, huh? Okay, so I'm gonna put this on the machine. Gonna fire it up. I'm gonna use Simplify 3D and the stock settings for the Prusa. Um, see what happens. All right, stand by. So we're back. So I printed the uh, PETG, the octopus head for the uh, uh, articulated, what's it called, articulated octopus. Um, so it came out. It looked, uh, it looks pretty good. I got some pictures while it was still in a print bed, which I'll show in just a minute. So uh, just want to show it to you real quick. Um, it looks um, on the camera here. It looks very kind of a ruby, deep, deep red. Uh, it's a little, uh, it's not quite that deep, um, 
It's not magenta though, I gotta tell you. It is translucent. Um, hopefully, let me see if I can uh, get this guy to focus in on it. Now, rotate it a little bit. Um, it's focusing on my hand, which is not what I want. Um, someday, better camera. Anyway, uh, so it still has the raft, or I'm sorry, the support material on it, which is right here. Uh, and I just peeled the, uh, uh, what's this, skirt, brim, skirt. One of the two off. Uh, so the support material, taking it off. Wow, I just that popped off super easy. I gotta say, when I removed it from the uh, from the print bed, it came off very easily. Um, it looks pretty good. Little stringy on the bottom uh, before the cooling fan turned on. Um, it's a little little bumpily. I don't know what to official 3D printing term would be. It looks, it appears to be on the inside. Um, maybe I'll see if I can get some pictures of it. I don't know if I can get the video camera here to uh, focus in on um, that guy. You can see kind of, uh, see a little mark there. Um, other than that, it looks, looks pretty darn good, I gotta say. Um, I like the, uh, semi-translucent sort of uh, color to it. And again, the stringing. I think maybe if I print this again, um, interesting enough, the strings don't come off very easily. Uh, if I print this again, maybe uh, put the cooling fan on the whole time. Um, so I'm gonna print some more with this. I just wanted to do this uh, kind of quick review. So, uh, well, um, stay tuned, thanks. Okay, so here are some pictures of the octopus uh, still on the print bed uh, shortly after it was done printed. Uh, what you can see here is just a, a, an angle kind of from the front. You can see at the bottom uh, the brim, skirt, whatever it's called, uh, uh, around the outside edge, and you can see the kind of uh, translucent nature of it. Uh, again, the color here actually looks pretty close uh, to what it actually is in real life. Um, that's pretty damn, uh, pretty darn ar accurate right there. So, uh, next picture is uh, same thing, just a different angle. Um, it's from the side, and uh, you can see some of the artifacts from uh, the printing there. I don't really know uh, what uh, what's going on there. Right there in the center of the skull, there's like a, a line or something. Um, you can only see it when the light hits it from a certain angle, um, but there's definitely a different, uh, I don't know how to explain it, a different type of printing going on there. Um, maybe that's where it starts, uh, you know, curving around, what well, is where it, it starts curving around, um, but there's less thickness there. Um, but uh, it's interesting, you can, uh, uh, you know, because it's semi-translucent, uh, or it's, I guess it's translucent, which means semi-transparent. Um, uh, you can kind of see some, uh, kind of see through it there a little bit. So it's just very interesting to me. Um, next picture, same, uh, uh, right on the print bed there, but shortly after I just uh, I pushed on the top and it popped right off. Um, no prying, no pushing, no um, heroics to get it off. Uh, that was interesting. Uh, I did notice when the first layer was going down, uh, I think the print head could have been a little bit closer to the uh, print bed. Uh, I'm going to make some adjustments um, on that. Uh, it seems uh, every, on the Prusa i3 Mark II, uh, the different filaments that I print all seem to want to have a different Z starting height. Uh, I don't really know what that's about. Um, very specifically, the white filament I have from inland white filament. Uh, it's super inexpensive. Uh, prints very well actually, but uh, it, it's got to be much closer to the print bed to get a good lay down than say the the purple or even the green that I have or the the pink, the hot pink that I have. Uh, it, it laid, uh, those lay down easier when they're further away. It's very odd. So um, uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. As always, if you don't like the video, appreciate a thumbs up anyway. Um, and if you get the opportunity, please subscribe and leave some comments down below if you have any questions. Thanks, everyone.